Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our first lesson on a given form 2 mathematics topic called Statistics 1. Remember we'll also be looking at Statistics 2 which is usually covered under form 4 work. So today we're looking at our first example on Statistics 1 which reads that the table below shows marks scored by 25 students. So that simply means that uh, our total frequency is actually 25 in a test. So we have uh, two students scoring between 1 and 10. Uh, four students are scoring between 11 and 20. 11 students between 21 and 30. Five students between 31 and 40. Then we have three students scoring between uh, 41 and 50. So part A of the question, we are told to state the model frequency. Remember, the model frequency is simply at the highest frequency in a given set of data. Therefore, uh, the solution for part A will be our model frequency uh, will be the highest frequency. Uh, the model frequency will simply be the highest frequency in this given set of data. So this one between 1 and 10, we have a frequency of 2, we have 4, we have 11, we have 5, then we have 3. So of course the highest frequency is actually 11, therefore our model frequency will be 11. Then part B, they want us to uh, state the model a class so the model class will be the class having the highest frequency of course which is between 21 to 30 therefore our model class the model class uh, will be uh, 21 to 30 so 21 to 30 is our model class then part C of the question we are told to calculate the uh, median mark so there's a formula that we use uh, to find the median mark for grouped data so median is given by uh, the median is given by this particular formula you take l then you add uh, n over 2 then minus the cumulative frequency then you divide with uh, the frequency then you multiply it by uh, the class interval so we need to define uh, these letters so l simply stands for uh, the lower class limits the lower class limits uh, of the median class lower class limits of the median class median uh, class so that is what l stands for then n stands for the total frequency uh, total uh, frequency of the given set of data then cf stands for uh, cumulative frequency uh, cumulative uh, frequency cumulative frequency uh, below the median class below the median class below the median class then uh, f stands for frequency of the median class frequency of the median class uh, then lastly we have i which stands for uh, the class interval class interval the class interval of the median class class interval of the median uh, class so that is the formula that we used to uh, we use to find our uh, median. So from that formula, it's clear that we need a column for the cumulative frequency. Therefore, I'm going to make a table here uh, for the values uh, that I'm given. Uh, so my table will have the uh, marks frequency and also the uh, cumulative uh, frequencies. Therefore, I need uh, three rows. So the first mark that I'm given is, uh, so this is the max, which is representing the classes. So the first mark is between 1 and 10, whereby we are having uh, a frequency of uh, two students scoring between 1 and 10. So here the frequency is 2. Then between uh, 11 to 20, we are having uh, four students scoring between 11 and 20. Then between 21 and 30, we are having uh, 21 and 30, we have 11 students scoring between 21 and 30. Then 31 uh, to 40, we are having 31 to 40, we have 5 students scoring between that. Then 41 to 50, 41 to 50, uh, we have 3 students uh, scoring between that. So uh, for us to find the cumulative frequencies uh, denoted by CF, so cumulative frequency, the first one will just be 2. Uh, the second one, you are going to take 2 plus 4, which will give you 6. Then the third one, you will take uh, 6 plus 11, which is going to give you 
uh, 17. So here we are going to get 17. Then you'll take 17 plus 5, which is going to give you 22. Then 22 plus uh, 3, which should give you 25. So remember that the last cumulative frequency should always be equal to uh, the total uh, frequency, which was actually 25 students. Then after that, we are simply going to substitute uh, the values in our formula. But before that, we need to find the value of n over 2 so that we identify where the uh, median class is going to lie. So to find the class where it lies, you simply take the value of n over 2. So of course, n over 2 uh, will simply be, our n is the total frequency, which is 25, then divided by 2, which is going to give you 12.5. Uh, this will be 12.5. So you are going to look at your cumulative frequencies and see where the 12.5 is likely to lie. So uh, looking at our table, 12.5 uh, of course is uh, less than 17, uh, but it is more than 6. So it means uh, if this is 6, it means the 12.5 will lie in the uh, next class. So you simply take the value that is uh, slightly below the 12.5, then the following class, that is where uh, our median is going to lie. So because we cannot pick 17, because 17 is greater than a 12.5, therefore uh, you look at the cumulative frequency coming before uh, the a half of n, which is the 12.5, and we see that it is 6. So from 6, the next class, it means the cumulative frequency, uh, that is the median will lie between 21 and the 30th class. Therefore, our median class our median class will be, so the median class, uh, median class will actually be, it will lie here between 21 and 30. So our median class is 21 to uh, 30 for this particular uh, case. Now that we know our median class, we are going to apply our formula. So we'll take L. So L should be the lower class limit of the median class. So our median class is ranges from 21 uh, to 30. Therefore, each lower class limit, you are going to subtract 0 0.5. So the lower class limit of this will be 21 minus 0 0.5, which is going to give you uh, 20.5. Then the upper class limit will be uh, 30 plus 0 0.5, which gives you uh, 30.5. So remember, if you want to find the lower class limit, you subtract 0 0.5. If you want to find the upper class limit, you add 0 0.5. Therefore, the median will be, so our median uh, mark, will be given by L, which is the lower class limit of the median class, which is uh, 20.5. So this will be 20.5. Then you are going to add N over 2. Our N is uh, 25. Then divided by 2. Then minus CF is cumulative frequency below the median class. So this is our median class. The cumulative frequency below that median class is uh, 6. So, so you can see uh, 6 is our cumulative frequency that is coming immediately below the median class so this one will be six then divided by the frequency f is the frequency of the median class so this is our median class therefore the frequency in the median class is positive uh, 11 so it is divided by 11 multiplied by uh, the class interval uh, the class interval of the median class so the class interval is usually the upper class limit uh, then you lesser uh, the lower class limit Therefore, our class interval will be the upper class limit of the median class is uh, 30.5, uh, 30 then minus the lower class limit of our median class is uh, 20.5. So we subtract 20.5 so that we can get the class interval of our median class. So this is going to give us 20.5, uh, then we are going to add uh, 25 divided by 2, you'll get uh, 12.5, then minus 6, then you divide by 11, then multiply by 30.5 minus 20.5, you are going to uh, get a uh, positive uh, 10. So it's going to give you uh, 10, that is when you take 30.5, then you subtract 20.5, you'll, you'll get 10. Therefore, our interval is 10, so this is going to give us uh, 20.5. Uh, then plus, uh, if I take 12.5, then minus 6, I'm going to get 6.5. So this will be uh, 6.5, then divided by 11, then times 10. So this will give us a 20.5, 
then plus i'm going to take a uh, 6.5 uh, divided by 11 then answer i multiply by 10 so i'm going to get a uh, five point so i'll simply record it correct to four significant figures so this is a five point uh, nine uh, zero nine that is correct to four significant figures therefore the answer will be uh, 20.5 then plus 5.909 uh, I'm going to get 26 so 26.409 uh, mark so this is what we are calling our median mark then we move to part D whereby you are asked to find the mean mark so I need to create a space for part D. So let me uh, erase this so that I create some space for uh, computing. That is uh, part D of the question. So part D we are, we are told to find. Uh, they want us to find the uh, mean mark. So this is part D. So mean, remember the mean is given by a summation of f of x. Then you divide with summation of f therefore we need a column for x we also need a column for f another column for f of x so for us to achieve that i'm going to uh, make a table that will help us uh, compute the uh, the mean so i'll make a table uh, so the first one will be the classes uh, then uh, the second column uh, i will need the midpoint which will be our x then of course uh, from there i'll need another column for the frequencies uh then of course uh f of x another column for uh f of x so let me uh name the columns so the first one here will simply represent uh what we are calling the max so we are going to have the max here uh the max then we'll have the midpoints uh, the midpoint, remember, is usually the, uh, what we are calling the value of x. Then we are going to have the frequency, frequency, uh, which is usually denoted by f. Then we'll also need another column for f of x, uh, uh, the product of uh, the frequency and uh, the values of x, which are our midpoints. So I'll make this table so that it can help me in uh, finding the values that I need uh, to find the uh, mean for this particular given set of data therefore uh, the values that I'm given one I'm going to start with the first uh, the mark remember the marks in this case represent what we call the classes uh, the classes or simply the mark so one we have uh, from one up to ten then the second class we are having um, the second class is uh, eleven two uh, 20 the third class is uh, 21 to 30 then the next class we have uh, 31 uh, to 40 then the last class we are having 41 uh, to 50 so these are our classes so I can separate them uh, using uh, some columns that is uh, some rows so I can separate these and this uh, by a line, I'll, I'm also going to separate these two. Uh, then I'll also separate these two. Then I separate these two. Uh, then lastly, we also have this one here. So I need to fill this table. So X will simply be the midpoint. Huh? So remember the midpoint, you take the lower class limit, the upper class limit, then you divide by two. So the midpoint or the x for our first class, you will take 1, then plus 10, then you divide the answer by 2. Of course, which will be 11 divided by 2, which is going to give you 5.5. Uh, so this is 11 over 2, which gives you 5.5. So our x here will be 5.5. Similarly, we move to the next class, which is uh, 11 up to 20. So you take 11 plus 20, then you divide by 2. So this is going to give you 11 plus 20, so we're going to get 31, then divided by 2, you get 15.5. So this is 31 over 2, which is 15.5. So this will be 15.5. Uh, then the next one, of course, will be 25.5. Uh, uh, that is when you take uh, 21 plus 30, then you divide the answer by 2, uh, it will give you 25.5. 
the next one will be 35.5 uh, that is when you take 31 plus 40 uh, 31 plus 40 then answer you divide by 2 you'll get 35.5 then 41 the last one is 41 plus uh, 50 uh, then the answer you divide by 2 you are going to get 40 5.5 so this is 45.5 next we move to frequencies our uh, frequency of 1 to 10 was 2 then the next one was 4 the next one was 11 uh, 5 then lastly we had 3 then f of x you are going to multiply uh, the value of uh, f of course with x so I'm going to multiply 2 which is f multiplied by x so if I take 5.5 .5 multiplied by 2 I'm going to get a uh, positive uh, 11 then if I take 4 multiplied by 15.5 so 15.5 multiplied by 4 uh, I'm going to get a uh, 62 so this one will give me 62 that is 15.5 times 4 I'll get 62 then 25.5 uh, multiplied by 11 I'm going to get uh, 280.5 so 25.5 by 11 I get 280 then uh, 0 0.5 then I'm going to move to 35.5 multiplied by 5 uh, 35.5 times 5 I'm going to get 177 so this is giving me 177.5 uh, 177.5 uh, when I take that 5.5 by 5 then lastly we have 45.5 uh, multiplied uh, by 3 45.5 by 3 so this one is giving me uh, 136.5 136.5 then remember the formula needs summation of f of x therefore I'm going to add this uh, the values in this column so that I get the summation of f of x so I'm simply going to add 11 plus 62 plus uh, 280.5 plus this then plus that so let me perform the addition so 11 added to uh, 62 then plus uh, 280.5 uh, 11 plus 62 plus 280.5 uh, then plus 177.5 177.5 then lastly I'm going to add 136 uh, point 0.5 so this one is going to give me uh, 67 so I'm getting a uh, 667.5 six, six, uh, 667.5 uh, then I also need summation of f of course this one will just be 25 so you simply add 2 uh, 2 plus 4 uh, plus 11 plus 5 uh, then plus 3 you're going to get positive 25 5 as your uh, summation of f so this is our summation of uh, frequency so the other one was 11 plus 62 plus uh, 280.5 uh, then you are adding 177.5 uh, then lastly we are adding 136.5 uh, so the answer is actually 667.5 so that means our mean so the mean uh, will be equal to summation of f of x over summation of f which is equals to summation of f of x is 667.5 then divided by summation of f is 25 so if you compute the 2 667 divided by uh, 25 you are going to get 26 so this is 26.7 uh, mark so this is our median so this is our sorry this is our mean so in our next classes, we'll be looking at further examples on statistics one, things to do with the uh, drawing histograms, ETC. So thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. I do not take it for granted. In case you are new to the channel, kindly hit the subscription button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.